Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I asked you guys on Instagram, should I use my Norvina palette or should I use the Urban Decay Honey palette? And like 80% of y'all said the Norvina palette. So that's what I used for today's little pink look. Um, I just love pink. That's just my thing now. Like pink eyeshadow, I feel like really looks good on me. So, so we did a little pink look. So yeah, um, I don't know what else to say. Um, but before I get into the video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Your girl's trying to get to 10k, you know, before the world ends. So, um, yeah, subscribe and do all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, without any more talking, let's just get right into the video. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Okay, the palette that I'm going to be using today is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I'm going to be taking A5, which is this matte pink, and I'm going to be popping this all over my lid. Okay, now I'm going to be picking up the shade A3 and B1 from the same palette. And I'm popping that into my crease to deepen it up a bit and just give my eye a bit of structure. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop lashes on off camera and I'll be right back to finish the rest of the face. Okay, now that the eyes are pretty much done, it's time to move on to the face. So, I'm gonna be taking the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer today. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just blend this out right here. Just blend those edges so we could really be so seamlessly blended into the foundation on the outer part right here. That. And then I take a beauty sponge, beauty blender, whatever you want to call it, and I blend out my under eyes. To set my under eyes, I'm going to use, um, this is the new Anastasia Translucent Powder. I'm going to try this out for you guys today. I actually used it in my last look that I did, but the video was like trash, so I couldn't upload it. But I wasn't really sure if I liked it or not. I feel like I applied a little bit too much. I was like, my under eyes are very light right now, so it was a little scary. It was a little scary. Um, I think I'm going to use a brush to apply it. I'm just going to put down my under eyes a little bit more. I'm just going to take a brush and just dip in just like that and tap a lot of excess off so it's not too much powder. I usually like to steer away from translucent powders. Unless it's the no color powder from um, RCMA, then like, okay. But translucent usually like has some sort of color to it. So I'm always so afraid. So when you apply just a light hand of this one, it's good. But if you apply too much, then you're definitely going to have sort of like a white cast. I'm going to go into my Hoola bronzer from Benefit in the shade Toasted to bronze up my face a bit.
Okay, for blush today, I'm going to take this H&B Cosmetics Dare to Be Different blush in the shade Oh So Snatch. Anywho, back into the eyes. I'm zooming it down a little bit more. Um, I'm going to go back into my ABH Norvina palette. And I'm going to pick up the shade C2, which is a like shimmery yellow shade. And I'm going to pop that right in my inner corners. Cute. And then I'm going to take... <clears throat> I'm gonna take a mm, I'm gonna take a three which was like that purple shade right here I'm gonna pop that on the lower lash line I'm gonna take this Maybelline tattoo studio gel liner in brown to line my lips A gloss called Dolce from Alamar Cosmetics. I'll pop that in the center. It's in Dominique or Dominique Kristen or Dominique Cosmetics. Girl, I don't know. It looks like this. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the shade Peach Peach Tea. So guys, this is it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love the way this came out. Like, it's super simple and just cute and, like, reviving, you know, vibes. Vibes and all that, okay? Um, oh, what else to say? <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be leaving all the products that I used in the description box down below for you guys to check out. And you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll make it by Shania. And I'll see you guys in the next video.